Hey YouTube, just on the net 12 here today. I'm gonna teach you guys how to, you know, change your icons. Um, I know I made another video about how to change your icons before, and I know there's certain people ask me where do I get my icons from when I'm making the theme. Um, if you check on my, I'm gonna put the link in the description about my old um, how to make icons or how to change your iPhone icons. You can use an application called Icon Maker which is on Cydia and requires you to be jailbroken and like I said I'll put a link in the description and this I'm trying to this tutorial I'm trying to teach you guys is how to you know basically take it to another level um, you and but as I mean taking to another level is basically using a Google image and removing the background off that Google image and turning it into an icon which is pretty which is pretty cool because um you can you know just think about it any Google image um, on the internet you can turn into an icon without it showing the background on it which is pretty good and which is very useful so basically you know the sky's the limit I guess so for the, the, the things you will need of course is iFile, iFunbox, no you need iFunbox um, and iFunbox is basically an iFile on your computer you know and what this will do is help you transfer the themes and pictures to your folder and all that stuff and transfer it to your iPhone or iPod or any Apple device you have and of course it requires to be jailbroken you know so you can put themes on here too and also you will need of course as when you will need is uh, Microsoft Word 2010 so you can remove the background off the pictures which I will show you and you will also need of course internet access a laptop USB cord and also you will need um, an application called Green Fish Icon Pro. I don't know if you can see the name. I know you can see all the other stuff. I'm going to put it to the name. Green Fish Icon Editor Pro. Sorry if you can't see that. Um, and this will allow you to basically resize the picture to, you know, the icon. You know, to the icon size that's compatible for your iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, or whatever. So, we're going to get started. So, you know, we're going to minimize that. Go on. You can use Google Chrome, anything. So, I'm going to type in. Um, and you can type in. I'm going to type in an anime one, Vegito or something. And I'm going to do a hard picture, a uh, picture with good quality. Mm. Which picture did I recommend to use? Not that one, because it's not a good example. Um, maybe this, maybe this one right here. View original image. Save it. Save it to um. I recommend save it to your desktop to be easier, and I do Vegito or something. And as you can see, this picture obviously has a blue background on it. This could work with any picture, and sometimes depending on the picture, it could be very difficult to remove um every background image from them. But for them, but you know. It doesn't necessarily have to be perfect, but as long as like what 95 or 90 percent of the background is removed, that's all that matters. So you you know drag the picture to Microsoft Word, click the picture. Then once you click the picture, you will want. I'll show you once you move up, it will show picture tools. So you will have to click that. Oops, excuse me. Click that, and then it will say "Show Remove Background." Click that. And now, basically, what you have to do just zoom in so you guys can see that. Basically, you're gonna have to move this, and the stuff that shows in color is the stuff that's gonna um is gonna keep the the purple, the stuff highlighted in purple is what's gonna remove. So try your try your best to um to 
you know, to cover up the background as much as possible without messing, you know, without messing up with the character, you know, with the um, picture or the image. So, um, it's, it's, sometimes it doesn't get very difficult because um, this doesn't, you know, it's not all that accurate, I guess. It doesn't, as you can see, um, for example, if I do keep changes, as you see, the background image is gone and all you see is Vegito. So go back on there. And if you want to, you know, like I said, the stuff in purple is what it's going to remove. Well, basically the stuff highlighted in purple is what it's going to move. And the stuff that, you know, shows an actual color is what it's going to show. So as you can see, everything you've removed, everything that was highlighted in purple was removed. So um, we're going to... And say, for instance, you want to see the hand, you know, you want to um, want the hand to show. You can click mark areas that you want to keep. Click that. Then, as you can see, the hand is basically visible. So, like I said, you don't got to be perfect as long as you get almost everything. Like, basically 95% of the background removed, you're basically decent. So, now, since everything is all set, push keep changes. Then, as you can see... The background is removed, and Vegito is basically is the only thing it's showing. So after that, you're going to have to left click, save picture as. You know, I recommend your desktop. Then you, of course, you could and make sure you change the file type as like portable network graphics or whatever. You, you know, rename it to whatever. You know, rename it to whatever you want to rename it to. So after that, you know, push save. Put this right here so I'm going. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can come and inbox me as well. And as you can see, if you do see, well, I'll move the image so you guys can see this. As you can see, there's Vegito right there without no. And now all you have to do. I know it's very, you know, I know the icon is very small to see, so all you gotta do is click to green greenfish icon pro. Go to file. Go to open. You know, go to you know desktop and search, you know, the name you know, the name of the image that you created or you know remove the background from. So oops, I put go to two so here it is go to open see and as you can see you see um Gogeta you know without the background and 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 this is basically an ICO file and I an ICO file is an image without a background on it or a background has basically been has been removed and the only thing and the only way you can tell if the um image doesn't have a background in it. If you if you see the image and you see black and white checker boxes right behind the icon to let you know that it's a um ICO or the image doesn't have a background on it. And then after that, um, you can just click the image and change the width. And this is for like um, iPhone 3GS and lower. The icon size is 59 and the width no the width is 59 and the height is 60 press ok and of course your icon is going to look all blurry and dude that that is due to because it's you know it's, it's zoomed in so unzoom it go to one you know hit the triangle button until it reaches to one and then it looks very small so then after that all you have to do to uh, want you can do two things just put save right here just click the little save or just or go to file and do save as or save or save all and save all is basically if you have more than you can load up to more than one images on this software I'm just showing you this once so after that the um the image should be around here somewhere. As you see, the image is right there. And if you want to check the, you know, 
how big is the icon or the si or the size of the picture just go on details and as you see it's 5960 and that's what I just changed it to so I press OK you know that's just if you want to make sure if it's the right size because some icons don't change sizes so um, after that let's see if you can see that So after that, you just need to um, create a theme folder. I already have one created. And if you need help, you just inbox me about it. Just, you know, just, you know, um, the extension you will need is, you could write any theme, you know, write any name, dot theme, that's the extension you will need so it can work. So I'm going to go to my um, iFun box because I already have a theme loaded in there. Onto my iPhone, of course. Plug my thing in the USB cord. Okay. And of course, you will need winter board so this can work. It's just iTunes popping up. Of course, um, if you don't want anything to be removed or anything, immediately um, try to uh, close the window. Sorry for the delay. Okay, go to your iFun box. Go to your iPhone box, go on iPhone box classic, click your device. Go on raw system file. Go on var. Stash and themes. And as you can see, this is these are basically the um, themes that has been loaded onto my device. So this is my Goku theme. I just named it that way. And as you see, Facebook has already changed. And we're going to go to my iDevice. I didn't load the theme yet, so the next icon I'm going to change is Cydia. So before doing that, what you have to do is... Hope you guys good. Y'all can see that, all right. As as you can see, the name is Facebook.png. the The exact name on the i on the iPhone has to be the exact name on the, on on renamed on the icon so it can work. Hopefully, I explained it that right. So, for this Gogeta icon right here, just left click, go on rename, and type in you know the icon that you want it to be. And I want Cydia. Just type in C Y D I A Cydia. Push enter. And before that, you'll need to create a folder called Icons. Um, first, you need you know, like I said, create the theme name Goku dot theme or you know stuff dot theme so the extension can work. Then go inside that folder. You know, make a new folder and make it icon. So I'm just going to use this as an example. Then you're all set. But um so click, you know, click the icon folder, then drag, you know, drag in the little icon that you just created. Then after that, you're all set. You can ref you can refresh if you want. You necessarily don't got it. I mean, you necessarily don't have to. And all depend all depends on a file extension. It will automatically uh, put the extension .png, so you won't have to worry about putting that on there. So now, since that is done, we're gonna go to the um, iPhone, go on Winterboard. Make sure it has Summerboard um, enabled so the themes can work. And you see my Goku theme right there. Tap it, and I'll respring. I didn't really do that much work on here, so. 
the only thing I'm trying to teach is how to change your icons so you know I don't have any fancy wallpapers or anything anything of that this is basically just a tutorial for tutorial purposes so just gonna like my device it doesn't matter so with that So let's see if you can see that. As you can see, my the icon that I just created, um, it's basically up there. The city icon has changed, like I um, showed you guys. And as you can see, there's no background on it. The icon looks completely different among the rest of them. So um, hopefully, you did get this tutorial. And um, before that, I'm show you. If you didn't see my other video, I'm gonna show you a theme that I created called Heroes theme. I so uh, if you didn't see the other, if you didn't see my other video about it, I'm gonna show you it now. And this actually does have a fancy wallpaper. I managed to change the little battery icon, Wi-Fi icon, and all the other icons was basically changed as well. So, and my notification icon has changed, a little mini Superman logo. So, um, even changed the little keyboard. So, if you, if you did enjoy the video, you know, like, rate, subscribe, comment if you need help, and follow me on Twitter. But, you know, if you need help, just inbox me on Facebook. Just No, inbox me on YouTube, excuse me, if you need any help on this. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all the subscribers that I have so far. I do enjoy you guys' support, and I really do need your support. So this is Just1912 here. Peace.